knowing that you know your ultimate goal is like five days away yeah it's awesome we've been working our butts off and uh this has been our goal for the whole year and it started in january um and really started after our last game last year and we've just been focused on this game this week uh just trying to be one and oh like i said and um really just focusing on fresno watching the film and we're just giving it all we got. We're going to leave it on the field, no regrets, and uh, just playing as hard as we can. You guys have obviously won the title game. You've lost the title game. I mean, it kind of changes, obviously, the, the first 12 games based on what happens in that right. game, fair or not. I mean, how, I know it's obvious, but how, how much do you need this game to kind of, uh, you know, make this season a success? Yeah, definitely. We've, we've been on a roll, and uh, this is our goal. And so this, whatever the season was like before, we made it to the championship, and our goal is to win, and if we do, that's our mission's complete. And we had a successful season, and we're going to be able to carry that momentum into the next year. You look at everything you guys went through after that loss to Utah. To be here right now, what does it say about this program and these players? Yeah, it just says we're relentless. Um, we never give up. We're never out of the fight, and we're just going to keep throwing punches and keep going along with our mission and, until we get it done. So our guys are always looking forward and uh, just doing whatever they can and leaving it all on the field. Is there a different feel preparing for and playing in a game against somebody you've played before? Yeah, it's different. We both kind of already know each other's schemes. There's obviously different stuff that they've implemented and we implemented throughout uh, just the season. And so we've kind of seen some of it, but we know that there's going to be differences and we're just ready to go and attack it. Do you have a better sense of maybe somebody, you know, when you watch on film the first time, like if you have to block somebody, how quick somebody's going to be, is there more knowledge in that realm? Right, yeah, we kind of know how each of us play, but then, uh, like I said, through the season, you get both guys get better and um, you change over time. So we just go out and we feel it out and we just keep keep playing. I can't remember if you have a COVID year left or not, but if not, this will be your last game on the blue, right? Have you thought about that and what emotions does that bring up? Yeah, whether, whatever happens, I haven't really thought too much about it, but uh, just trying to win a championship. And yeah, if this is the last time on the blue, I'm not sure what it's going to look like, but I'm giving it all I got. No regrets, just leaving it all on the field for the guys. Do you have a COVID year left? Can yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So when will you make that decision? Uh, probably sometime after the season, but just right now, focus all on this game. And just like I said, no matter what, just leaving it all out on the field for my brothers. I assume it was just precaution. I mean, you're suited up and you're talking to us. I assume you're playing Saturday. I mean, was it just a precautionary thing last week? Yeah, just a precautionary thing, getting my body right and uh, going full speed this game. So just ready to get after it. You look at Fresno State, and they have a lot of names that people recognize, but they haven't put up a great stats from the defensive side of the ball this year. What have you seen as a defense on film? Uh, they're just physical. They fly around. Um, they're just fast to the ball. and. Uh, they're tough. They leave it out there too. So it's going to be a battle, and I'm excited to go against a good component opponent like them. How, how different are they? I mean, they've won seven in a row, obviously. I mean, I, how, I know offenses, they're obviously very different with Hanger, but in terms of their defense, just their team, their momentum, how different are, is this the team that you're playing? Yeah, it's definitely different when a team's on a roll. And like I said, they're just full force, and they, uh, they rally around the ball. They're fast, they're tough and physical, and uh, we're both on a roll right now, so we're going to go head to head. It's going to be a fun game. They didn't have their safety, Evan Williams, last time you guys played. As you've watched film, is he a guy that jumps out on film and makes a big difference in their, in their defense? Yeah, he's a great player, and I'm excited to go against him. He's, like a, he's one of those guys that fly to the ball, and he's all over the field, so it's just going to be fun to go against a, a good player like that. I guess before the game, or I guess Hayner was saying yesterday that him and Skinner were like joking before the game last time, like, we'll see you back here oh, for yeah. the championship. Did you kind of have, you guys were the two preseason picks, and I know they were struggling at the time, but I mean, did you kind of all along think this might be the matchup? Um, yeah, whatever, whoever we were playing, but I know throughout a season, a lot of teams go through up and downs, but I know that they're a great opponent, a great team, and uh, being able to play them in the championship, it's kind of, it's funny, that, like you said, joking around and knowing that we're going to be back here together on the blue. Through like five or six weeks, I mean, the passing game just hadn't clicked, and you know, it was like, some people were questioning, you know, the passing and the receivers and stuff, and since then, I mean, these guys, Billy, um, Eric McAllister, all these guys are really stepping up. I mean, how impressed have you been with the, the strides they made and them kind of showing their, their talent these last couple of weeks? Yeah, it's awesome. Throughout the season, we continue to just get better and continue to develop. And it starts with Taylor too. He's yeah. grown as a QB, not just as a running QB, but as a passing QB. And he's made strides every single week. And everybody else has as well. Like you said, the receivers, tight ends, O-line, running back, the defense, just continuing to make strides. and be better and that's what makes a championship team they get better throughout the whole season and it's starting to click and show up on the field so you say make strides for a quarterback and that's a very like vague thing are there like examples of stuff like 
you watch Taylor do now where you're like, all right, in October, I don't know if he's doing that. Yeah, he's just more comfortable and okay. more confident. That's just built over the season. You can see he's making amazing throws and going through his progression and calling out hots. He's just doing a lot of things that uh, a veteran quarterback does. And, and he, he's a young guy and he's starting to build every week and it's just awesome to see on the field. So how much of his like uh, I, development is knowing the defense, seeing stuff pre-snap and calling that out. Yeah, that's a big part. And he's, he's okay. a very smart guy. And Coach Cutter does a great job preparing all of us and being able to know what they're doing before the play even starts. Yeah. That's a big goal for us. And he does a great job seeing that. And it helps the play be successful. You were on the sideline for his 91-yard touchdown. In the run. I mean, what's it like seeing him turn the corner and outrun the whole defense? Right. You just can't help but have a smile on your face. You know, he works hard all week. And when he gets the corner, you just know, you know he's gone. Uh, so it's just awesome seeing all that hard work go to fruition, and it's just funny. He's a great guy, and seeing him score like that's awesome. This might be a premature question a little bit, but you obviously are one of the best on the team at you know balancing playing football, being really good during the season, and then in the off season, you know, exploring other interests and going to the NIL stuff, and mm -hmm. you know. Whatever happens on Saturday, I mean, that is going to be where, where Talon ends up as, you know, the Boise State star or whatever like that. Um, you know, how, how much are you, can you kind of guide him through that? And, you know, it seems like he has a pretty good head on his shoulders to be able to handle that when the time comes. Right, definitely. And it all starts on the field. Yep. And uh, so your success on the field, that's what carries over and helps you get those opportunities. So uh, we all tell each other we're focused on the field and just winning games and it just kind of rolls your way after that and yeah he's like a, he's a smart kid yeah. good head on his shoulders and all these opportunities are going to start rolling for him it's going to see it's going to be awesome to see him take advantage of it in the future coach potter just a second ago said you know you're one of the big leaders in the tight end room how, how does that role uh what does that mean to you for the, this young group coming up yeah it's awesome there's a lot of great guys in there and just being able to be that voice and kind of teach them what i've been through as i grew as a tight end because Switching over wasn't even easy for me, and I had a lot of great leaders like John Bates, and um, just being able to learn from them, and I was in their shoes, so knowing what I can teach them will help them grow as a tight end, and they're great guys, and they're willing to learn and do the extra stuff, so they're easy to lead. It's a great group. What did you think of his touchdown the other day? A what? Bates touchdown. The other oh, day. it was awesome. <laughs> oh, I love to see it. He's Like he, I said, he's a grinder, and being able to see that happen, I know he was excited. He got the little Gronk spike going. <laughs> I was fired up for him. Speaking of your role here, there aren't a lot of tight ends here that catch 40 passes a game. You guys do kind of more than dirty work. How did you prepare yourself for that role, and how are you helping the young guys take on that role? Yeah, it's just doing whatever you can for the team. The tight end room, uh, we're selfless, and we really just want our teammates to succeed. And when the ball comes our way, we're going to make plays. And uh, when we're in the trenches and doing the dirty work, we're going to sell out to help our teammates be successful. So we all know that going into it, and we just have that mindset of just being selfless and trying to do whatever we can in our 111th for the team. And we saw Matt Louder have three.